Hi, my name is Libby. I'm 13 years old and I've participated on two Project Courage courses. I like soccer, cooking, basketball, musical theater, snowboarding, baking. Well, you get the point. I'm not very good at sitting still. So I got a little worried when on my first Project Courage course, I found out that we were going on a two or three hour sola. A sola is a time where you do that thing I find so difficult, you sit still. It's time to quietly reflect. You don't talk to others, but you can write, just nap, make a nature gift for someone, or just think. I was somewhat worried at first. As I said before, I like to move around a lot. The first few minutes were spent just surveying the area. I was down by a small creek. There was a tree hanging over the rocks that I sat on. I could hear the birds and the burbling of the creek. Once I had settled in, it was actually quite relaxing. Since I'm usually so busy with soccer, cooking, basketball, musical theater, snowboarding, baking, I have little time to stop and reflect. This is one of the things I learned to do during Girl Ventures, and I found it extremely valuable. This gave me the time to think back on the pro and grow I got. Our instructors gave us a pro, something we do well, and a grow, something that we could work on. The pro and grow I received was that I was a good leader, but sometimes I need to give others the chance. My problem is I am sometimes a little headstrong. When I thought about it, I realized that an important part of leading is making sure that everyone has a chance to share th their ideas. I now try to let others speak, and specifically to make sure those who are quieter can express their ideas and opinions. I've learned that a leader not only entails guiding, but following and listening. Now I know how to better lead than when I did before the course. But listening doesn't only apply to leading, of course. I've also learned to suppress myself from talking when talking is not appreciated. <laughs> For example, we were doing a project on the first day of school, and since I was one of the big, scary eighth graders, we were the loudest, most confident ones. There were also fifth graders there who were largely ignored. They would start to say something and then be interrupted by someone else. My friend and I made sure they had the chance to speak without being interrupted. We just mentioned it, and it stopped, since, as, as, as I said before, being an eighth grader means younger kids usually listen to you. The fifth graders' ideas were actually good. We ended up using many in our final project, which was to make a map of a place on our campus. For example, it was a fifth grader who came and included details like bushes, trees, and a chimney that made the map look like it was what it was actually supposed to be. In addition to the memories and friends I have gained, Girl Ventures has had such a positive impact on my social and communicative skills. I have become a better leader, learned when to talk and when not to, and to stop and reflect every once in a while. For me, these were both challenges and significant growth experiences. I hope that you will help give more girls the opportunities that I got on my two Girl Ventures courses. Thank you for listening.